Hello everybody and welcome in this week's episode of the Racebox Show. 2019 WSK Supermaster Series, three rounds down, one to go. Let's have a look at what happened at La Conca before we go to Sarno for the last one. Before we talk about WSK, a quick word about one of our latest publications focusing on the new McLaren Customer Racing Driving School. For the first time, British brand McLaren is involved in karting thanks to a new partnership with Door Motorsport and TB Racing Team. Door Motorsport is a well-known team in the GT world and has been heavily involved recently with TB Racing Team. Their collaboration is now taking a next step, introducing the name of McLaren to karting. This new division will run in the coming races Ben Door, Hugo Sasse and reigning European champion Anas Janke. The key aspect of this new alliance is to allow young drivers to step up from karting and provide them also with various training types at the headquarters of McLaren in working. You can find the full exclusive interview with TB Racing team manager Thomas Brommuller about this new project in our latest article available on theracebox.com. It's time to switch your attention to the WSK Supermaster Series and find out what happened at the previous round on the Cartodromo La Conca. La Conca. A victory here puts you amongst the karting elite and the WSK Supermaster Series rolls on to Tuscany as the battle rages for the 2019 Mini, Junior and Senior Championships. With plenty of drivers at the top of their game and drama never far away at this crucial point of the season, nothing less than perfection will do for the heroes of the sport, hoping to divide and conquer at La Conca. And with three champions to be crowned and time running out, good results here are essential to finish the campaign at the top of the standings. Let's ride on board with Dexter Patterson as he rockets around La Conca. 127 kilometers an hour down the main straight before charging into turn one. Flirting with the apex on the inside line, carrying the speed to the outside curbs before a lift of the throttle through turn two. Now hard on the brakes, down to a whisker over 40k for the right hairpin. Now you're back on the power through the next two lefts, wrestling against 2G of force as you straighten up the car. Heavy braking once more for turn six, very easy to lock up, roll back onto the power on turn in. A slow square left comes next, but you can get back on the throttle through the next double right again carrying 2G as you accelerate. Now comes the toughest part of the circuit, the double right into a fast left. You need to keep the car very fast and balanced here. It's easy to drift wide and run out of road. You're at 117 kilometers as you hit the flat left, and now the final corner. Slow the car almost to a stop, turn in, back on the power, get a smooth exit, and the rest is plain sailing from there. Dexter Patterson, an artist at work. A furious and feisty finale began with Gabriele Mini stealing the lead from Dexter Patterson as Juha Valtonen disappeared into the barriers stage left. Taylor Barnard and Pedro Hiltbrand would both step up to the plate to threaten the Paralin powerhouse, but the transition to senior has been a breeze for Gabriele Mini and he would grab a fabulous victory ahead of Patterson, Hiltbrand and Barnard with Joe Turney and Lorenzo Travazanuto rounding out the top six. The latter is now 38 points behind championship leader Dexter Patterson with just one weekend to go. But the hero of the hour was the exceptional Gabriele Mini, with this win likely to be one of many 2019 triumphs and the young Italian now locked in a battle with Taylor Barnard for third in the title race. Arvid Lindbland stormed away from pole position ahead of Marcus Amon in the junior category, but even the reigning British Ayami cadet champion couldn't hold off the exceptional Andrea Kimi Antonelli, who steadily worked his way forward, hustled his way past Amand, and stormed on to a brilliant win. Full credit to Thomas Tembrinka in second place, up from 23rd on the grid, whilst Russia's Nikita Bedrin completed the podium ahead of Lindblad, Amand, and the continually impressive Jamie Day. A minor miracle is likely to be needed now to prevent Antonelli from clinching the title as the Rosberg Academy driver has a massive 61 points advantage over Tenbrinka and Bedrin. But that doesn't mean Antonelli will rest easy and he'll be hoping for glory one more time in the WSK Supermaster Series. 
championship leader Ian Eichmanns would get the jump on his Mini 60 rivals into Turn 1 for the final ahead of Maxi Popov and Koskan Erfen. But Alex Powell continued his whirlwind season in Mini 60 by grabbing a victory at the line over Eichmanns ahead of the British pairing of Erfen and William McIntyre. For Eichmanns, a win in pre-final B and a second in the final gives him another 38-point lead over Rashid Aldeheri heading to the season finale. The paddock will close out the 2019 WSK Supermaster Series at Sarno in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius on the fourth week of March. Sarno and the Circuito Internazionale in Napoli will welcome the final stage of the WSK Supermaster Series at the end of this week. The KZ2 class will be back on track for the first time since February alongside the three usual categories, OK, OK Junior and 60 Mini. We've had three fantastic races so far in Adria, Lonato and La Conca and the time has finally come to know who will take the series title back home. In 60 Mini, the Belgian driver Ian Aikmans has the advantage in the points but two times winner Rashid Aldahari is not far behind. In OK Junior, Andrea Kimi Antonelli has built a good gap from Thomas Tenbrike and Nikita Bedwin but with 153 points to be awarded in Sarno, all bets are still on the table. The battle in the OK class promises as well to be thrilling between the current point leader Dexter Patterson against not only Lorenzo Trovesanuto but also Telo Barnard and Gerbile Mini who all have a shot for glory. Finally, the closest fight of the event could come from the KZ2 category. The teammates from Sodicart, Pas Lammers and Adrien Renaudin took an impressive 1-2 finish in Lonato and are split by just 2 points at the moment. But they won't be alone as Myron Kremers and Paolo De Canto are currently sitting in 3rd and 4th position in the ranking. For the technical aspect of the event, the fuel will be supplied by Panta, the tires by Bridgestone for the OK and the KZ2 and Vega for the OK Junior and the 60 Mini. Drivers will hit the track of Sarno first time out on Thursday for free practice. On Friday morning, they will go against the stopwatch for qualifying before the qualifying heat in the afternoon until Saturday night. And on Sunday, we'll get to the most serious part of the event with pre-finals and finals to crown this year's winners. If you don't want to miss anything of the closing round of the WSK Supermaster Series, the race box provides you again with a special page with live timing for Friday and Saturday and live streaming by WSK Promotion for the final races on Sunday. And let's not forget about our complete reports published every day to keep you up to date with the results. That will be all for this week's episode of the Racebox Show. Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel of the Racebox, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget this weekend our coverage of the closing round of the WSK Supermaster Series available on the racebox.com and on social pages. I was your host Guillaume Alvarez and I'll see you soon for the next episode. Bye bye.